guys welcome back to my channel so it's been probably about a month since I've done my last video I had taken a little bit of time off I had just been really super super busy and then like I said it's just been about a month since I did my last one I was trying to get back into it but I had been busy with finishing up um, with my my afternoon job which is at an elementary school so I had you know a little bit of busy time there and some other things going on so I am off for the summer from from my school job so um, I am working on a video today and I wanted to sit down and show you guys what I got and what we're going to be doing today I wanted to I have a space here in my living room over in this back corner and I wanted to put like a some sort of shelf unit so I found one and it was like around eighty dollars and I got it at Wayfair, Wayfair.com, so I it's still in the box, I haven't opened it yet, so I wanted to wait and do that on camera, so we're going to we're gonna open that up, we're going to put it together, and then we're going to style it. So I did a little bit of shopping at HomeGoods, and I bought some items that I'm going to use for my shelf unit, it's a bookcase shelf unit, and I wanted to sit down and show you guys what I got, and I'm using just a few pieces that I already had, but most everything is brand new so I um, I got most of my well actually I think I got all of my pieces from home goods but I did get some books I wanted to get like a couple of sets of books that I could just you know just turn backwards so that the pages and the binder were showing not necessarily the title so it really didn't matter what the titles were so I did find um, I think I got I think I got about six of them and I got these at a bookstore called Half Price Books. And I got most of them were on clearance for like $3. I think the one was 4 and a couple others I think were around $10. So they weren't on clearance. But still, you know, still pretty cheap. So I think it's a great way to sort of style a shelf unit. If, Like I said, if you want to turn the books the opposite way where it's just the pages showing and the binder, not necessarily the title and I also tried to find books that were either black or gray or tan or white something you know more neutral so I you know I had really good luck finding those books so I'll show you guys what I got but I wanted to show you what I got that we're gonna use to style the shelf it's a five shelf bookcase and it's iron and then it's got wooden shelves so Anyway, let me show you what I got. Then we're going to get busy, open this box up, take everything out, get it put together. I don't I don't see it being too terribly tough to put together, so we're going to do that and then we'll start styling. That's the fun part. So, let me show you what I got. I found some really cute pieces at Home Goods. I have two Home Goods in my in my general area uh, that usually have, you know, pretty good items. So, let me show you what I got. This this piece here um, I really love these vases. I have several of these, but I do prefer this lighter color. I have some that are blue, like a more of a darker blue, but I do prefer this lighter sort of a, I don't know, like a sea, I want to call it a seafoam green. But uh, I got this one. This was only $9.99. These are fairly inexpensive, but I got this one. So I love that. And then I got this piece. This was sort of in their like home office section. And it just spells love. This was $9.99. It's made of wood. And then it's uh, it's sort of outlined in white. So it's really, really cute. And then this other wooden piece I got here. This was this was $14.99. Just uh, like five links. And these are wooden also. So I thought, you know, these are really cute to lay on a, you know, on top of a stack of books or a box or really anything or just you know crump you know sort of piled like this together by themselves so we'll see um, but I think you can do a couple different things with them um, this I thought was really cute I had seen this before and it luckily it was still there when I went back to shop so this was $14.99 as well and I like this one um, they had another one uh, with just her hands in her lap which was cute as well, but I opted for this one, so I really like that. And I really tried to stay with more neutral pieces uh, for decorating. So this one, I love this one. 
I was trying to stay with pieces that were fairly small. This was $12.99 and it's a little bit bigger than I wanted, but I really love the picture. Um, but I wanted, you know, I wanted to keep everything a little bit smaller, but it is going to go probably on the top shelf because I don't think it's going to fit on any of the other shelves. So we'll see how it looks, but I really love it. I, I couldn't pass it up. So um, I did buy another picture frame and I got this one for $5.99 and I did go ahead and put a picture of my granddaughter in it ahead of time. And this piece... I really like this. I wanted some sort of like basket or a box or something to go on it, maybe say at the bottom. But I found this piece. It's just a little wooden trunk and it does it does open up here. Just like that. It's just um, it's just black on the inside. So I thought that was really, really cute. And this one, this was $16.99, so yeah, I really like that really really cute okay and I have a few other pieces back here I got this one this was $12.99 I thought that was really really cute I had seen some similar to this at Target and when I went back to get one they didn't have any they had something a little bit different which I could have gotten I guess uh, but I like this one because it was white and I thought it would go well uh, with you know with the other pieces so Anyway, I, I really like that one. And then I got this piece here. And this was $14.99. So I got this. And I did see another one that was more more enclosed. It was a different piece. It was a little bit a little bit cheaper. It was right around, I don't know, $10 or $12, but this one was $15. So I like this one a little bit better. So I got that one. Okay, so those are all the pieces. And then the books, I just got, um, like I said, I got about six of them. So I found these two. Um, these are, this one is uh, Remarks on Architecture. So I thought this would be cool to face forward. And what I am going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take these sleeves off because I just wanted everything to be neutral. And, you know, the, the binder itself is black. So I'm going to end up taking these off. And I think these first two books I'm going to show you are going to face forward so with the title showing. This one's called Hollywood Fashion. And so, you know, with it sitting just like this and then maybe the other one on top, I think will look fine because the lettering, you know, is black and then the binder is white. So I think that's going to look good. And then these others, I just grabbed. Most of these, like I said, were about $3. I think there was another one that was 4 um, so yeah, this one, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm going to peel the, peel the, uh, the sleeve off and they will all, you know, they'll all pretty much face forward. So I'll probably do these last four in you know, like two separate stacks. So anyway, this is what we're working with today. I do have a few other pieces that I already had. Um, I didn't want to just go with everything you know, existing. I wanted to get some new pieces basically because I'm, you know, putting up a new shelf unit. So I wanted new pieces. So anyway, that's all that I've got that's going to go on the shelf unit. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I've had this sitting out for a couple days and I just hadn't had time to sit down and share everything with you and, and get started on this. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to start unboxing and get this thing put together shouldn't be too difficult and then we're going to start decorating so let's get busy and get this done I always give away too much mm. it's like i've got no sense of touch i'm always pouring out my heart no little by little here i'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here Cause I give my all oh, No little by little I pour out my Rather jump and risk the fall 
eyes and no limits in the sky no little by little here No, no, got stuck on working on myself Thought I was wrong and needed help But I'm just different, something else No little by little here Cause I get my shelf unit together and I loved decorating it that to me that is the best part of doing a video like this is the styling so I had so much fun I will list everything I got like I said everything for the most part came from home goods and I had a few items that came from Target but 
some of those items I had, you know, I already had. Uh, the books, you know, you can find books at any bookstore. Um, and you can find them, you know, a lot of times you can find them on clearance. You can find them at Goodwill. I did find, I found a couple that I put on one of my floating shelves above my couch. I found those at Goodwill and they were like a dollar, no, two dollars a piece maybe, dollar ninety nine, something like that. So I just got them and it didn't matter what the title was, I just turned them around. That's all I cared about was the binder being the right color and then the pages being white, obviously. But yeah, you can find those really at any any bookstore. A lot of times they have you know, a huge section that's on clearance, um, but you can find them cheap. Just, you know, take your time and look for them. But anyway, I had so much fun doing this shelf unit, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, I would love for you to join my family. Be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave. And as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys. Give me reasons to doubt, try to keep me down But I'll put the flame out, you can't get to me Throw your sticks and your stones, go break all of my bones You won't ache my soul, you can't get to me And there is no way